A, a small business in Belleville calls on the you paid for team for help after raw sewage bubbles up from the toilet. It is a nasty mess to see in person and on TV. They say the problem was caused by the city, but officials at City Hall don't want to own up to it. And that is nights. You paid for it. Talk about a nightmare. That's just what it's been for Dorian Leroy, owner of NEC Technology on East Main Street in Belleville. He says Belleville's faulty sewer created a mess. Not only the flooding outside, but inside raw sewage bubbling up nonstop from the toilet. He wasn't sure how to handle this, which was something that wasn't his doing. And all of a sudden you come out and you just see sewage water coming out of the toilet like a fountain. And I mean, it's just spewing over and it's flooding this whole back area. Um, we're scrambling, trying to get the parts and stuff that we had off the floor. His whole business was covered with sewage, including the parts he used for his repair work that had to be thrown away. A special company came in to clean up the unhealthy mess. He had to replace furniture and everything else. The bad news just kept coming. After the insurance company came back and told us that uh, this was not covered because it was outside of the building, it was on the city side. The shop was a mess with raw sewage all over, and he was staring at a costly cleanup in the neighborhood of $25,000. You contacted the city, I've had this damage, what did the city tell you? Uh, they told us to, to put in an insurance claim mm -hmm. with the city. Uh, after we put in our insurance claim, we sent them all the paperwork, sent them everything that we had. Okay. We got a letter back from their insurance company saying it was not covered because the city didn't know anything about the problem. And we we're like, that's not true because we've contacted you before about this. So far, he's having to foot the bill for the cleanup and repairs. He's already out of 20,000 bucks. So how does this make you feel? Oh, I'm burned up about it. I mean, it's, 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 it's money out of my pocket. It's money out of a small business. It's just sitting over here and, you know, taking 25 grand is like, that's, that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk of what, what we do a year. My inside of my building is a mess because, you know, and I don't know, I got to spend money, spend, keep spending money to fix it. And this is just, it's nerve wracking. What do you think should, the city should do? I think they should live up to what they, you know, you, you have insurance and your insurance says, you know, this is what happened. Come fix my building. Dorian says he still has yet to hear anything positive from City Hall. He says so far, all he hears from the city is that they're saying it's not their fault. I'm waiting for answers too. But you know, I'm going to stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.